everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a succulent. So let's do it! Okay, so to start, I'm just going to go through my materials. I'm using Arches watercolor paper today. My Winsor Newton Professional watercolors. I have a pencil and an eraser, and I have my Princeton snap brushes in a size 12 and a size 6, and my water and paper towel, and we're ready to go. Okay, so first we're gonna sketch out our succulent um, with a pencil. So grab any pencil you have and you're just gonna do a light sketch. You don't want it to be too dark. So first we're gonna start off with some pointy kind of triangles in the middle, they're small. Okay, maybe one going that way, one going this way, and one going this way. And then we're just gonna kind of build on those shapes. Okay, so we'll have one coming out here, one coming out here, maybe one coming out this way, and don't worry too much about the shape, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, nature and plants, they are all different. Okay, and then you're just going to kind of keep building on these almost like teardrop shapes. and they'll just get bigger as you go out. And it doesn't have to be symmetrical either, just keep placing them around like so until you make it as big as you want it. like so okay so i think that's pretty good um and you can always do less or more if you want um i might just adjust parts of them okay and then if you can try to erase the lines just a bit so it's not as dark You don't have to fully erase it, just so it's lightly sketched out. And then you're gonna take your bigger paintbrush. You're gonna mix a little bit of yellow. So I'm just using cadmium yellow, a really, really, really light wash, okay? Very, 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 very light wash, as light as you can. Um, maybe I'll take a bit of lemon yellow. Very light wash, and you're just gonna go over the whole thing. We're gonna be working in layers with this. So you want it as light as possible with just a touch of yellow because those are gonna act as some of the highlights on the edges of each of the, I don't know, are they called petals on a succulent? I have no idea. <laughs> so just filling up the whole thing with a light wash of that yellow. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want that initial highlight color to have a bit of color to it rather than it just being a white underneath. We don't want it to be white. We want it as natural looking as possible. So we're starting with the lightest color and those are just going to be the tips around each of the petal sections. I'm going to call them petals. Okay, guys, I don't know what they're called. Leaves? Are they leaves? Are they petals? What are they? <laughs> so these will be the highlights. And if you want, you can add like a tiny bit of blue 
to some of them. We're going to be making a very, very bright succulent. Just adding in some color. And I think I'm going to add a bit of mauve in there too. Permanent mauve. Just start throwing a bit of color. This is just the base. We're going to get very um, detailed with it after. Hold on, I'm just gonna mop up some of that purple. I didn't mean to throw that much purple in there. Just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit of a base color. Okay, so now you're gonna wait for this all to completely dry and then we will do our second layer. Okay, so now that it's completely dry, we're gonna work on one petal area at a time. So pick a petal, any petal that you wanna start working on. I'm gonna do um, a purpley blue succulent that's gonna kind of fade out to like a turquoisey green. So we're gonna make it nice and bright. So I'm gonna be using mauve and I'm just gonna take a light wash and I'm just gonna go around the inside of that petal. So I'm leaving a line, a really thin line in between the pencil line and this water line. And that's gonna act as a highlight because if you look at a lot of succulents, they have these really, really light tips to them. Like that, and then I'm just gonna throw in some color. Like that. Okay. Get some more purple in there. And I'm making it darker at the base, like that. I'm just gonna let it bleed and do its thing like that. And you're just gonna basically do that with each petal. So I'm gonna work on the next one, not one that's touching that one because I don't want them to bleed into each other. And when you have two wet areas touching each other, they will bleed. So I'm just going in with my light wash to start and then I can start adding the dark colors into this area. And I'm just mixing turquoise and blue and uh, sorry, not turquoise and blue, turquoise and mauve. You can do them whatever color you want. Again, dropping the darker color in between the middle. I mean, you can bring it up a bit too. And we might even go back into each layer after and darken it up even more. Okay, and then let's do this other one in this section. Again, leaving that small white area. And you'll see what I mean when I start doing the petals behind it. About leaving that white area. Like that, okay? Okay, so I'll show you, actually you can do if you're doing it this way and you're leaving that little white space, if you feel like your hand is steady enough to do it, you can do the, pe the petal next to it. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna get a bit more blue with the next layer out. So now you can actually go along that pencil line of that petal, okay? Because you went closer in, you didn't touch that pencil line before, so it's leaving that little white area and it's not really white it's the highlight color that we first put down okay I did something wrong <laughs> hold on remember you're supposed to go in not touching that pencil line of the one I I know what I'm doing I promise I don't uh, it's okay made a mistake again <laughs> coming in closer There we go, I left a little bit of space, not touching the pencil line of this one. Um, might add a bit of green. Bit of mauve. There we go. So now you can see that little highlighted area, that little space that we left is acting as a highlight. Okay. 
there we go. And you want to do that on the same, the same for all of the petals going around. So basically we're just going to keep on doing this. I'm going to make it more purplish, maybe even pink. Let's, let's throw in a bit of pink there too, before that, those middle ones dry. Maybe right at the edge here. Hold on, I'm gonna grab some Opera Rose, which is a nice neon kind of pink. Maybe throw it in there. Yeah. Like that. And you just keep doing this all around. Okay, so I'm just gonna break it down again one more time. So here, I'm gonna take a really light wash of this turquoise, and I'm just gonna go around the pencil line of those previous ones, and then right before the pencil line of this petal that I'm working on, okay? So on the pencil lines of the one before, and then leave that little white space between the pencil line there, fill it in with that light wash, Okay. And then go back in with some more color, so a bit more turquoise. And I even bring it up the middle a bit, like there's a fold. And then I'll go back in with my dark. So I made a dark purple here with dioxazine uh, purple and hooker's green dark. And it's a really more purple than green. And it's a really dark purple and I'm just using that for the base of these and the shadow. And again, bringing it up the middle a bit like so. Okay. And so I think before I said that don't do a petal that's touching the other one, but I forgot with these, I'm using the highlights as those little spaces. So you can do one that's like right next to it. I just, the way I used to do succulents, I didn't make this highlighted area. So that's what I was thinking of, but then I realized I was doing the highlights. So you can work on petals next to each other at a time. Just make sure you leave that white space. And as you see in the, in the middle of the succulent, I added more purples. And then as I went out, I added more turquoise. And that's just my color preference for this, but you can definitely do purple throughout the whole thing or pinks or however you wanna do this, go for it and have fun. So now that it's all dry, we're gonna add just a bit more shading to it. So the whole thing's dry, especially like in here. So I'm just gonna mix up some dioxazine purple, which is that nice dark purple, maybe a bit of mauve in there, make it a bit warmer. And I really like the hooker's green dark with it. And I'm just going to separate these inner petals here with that dark color. that okay and then for the base of these ones again I'm gonna go back in to the base with this dark color like that wash off my brush just dab it on my paper towel and blend it out a bit just using that clean water to blend out the edge so it's not so harsh okay and then you're just gonna keep doing that around the base of each one of these petals. So dark, wash off your brush, dry it a bit, and blend it out to get a soft edge. You can even bring some of that darkness up the middle just a bit. Okay. Want a bit of 
bit more warmth than this purple, okay? Just gonna, and you can keep turning your succulent as you work around. I might do a couple at a time here. I would try and do one at a time though, just if you're new to it, just because if you let drying time, you're gonna get that sharp line before you're able to blend it out. Also, depending on your paper, if I'm using Arches paper and it lasts a bit longer or it stays wet a bit longer, so I have more time to work with it. But if you're using cheaper paper, you might not have as much time. Okay. Okay, and just continue to do that around as I'm getting closer to the green ones. I might switch up this dark color and add a bit more blue into it. This one is purple, but that's okay. Blending it out. Just washing off my brush, blending it out. So you have a nice soft line. So here I'll show you. Oops, I'm gonna grab my ultramarine. Maybe I can mix a bit with that dioxazine purple. Add a bit of green. And that can be the darker base color as well. And you just keep doing this around until every part has a bit more of a deeper shadow to it. there is your succulent um, if you want to add you know a bit more yellow to some of those highlighted areas just making sure that it's dry around there first you can definitely do that but besides that that's about it and I hope you enjoyed it <laughs> thank you all so much for watching my video I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more have a great day, guys. Bye. Say bye.